Idra's new OLS injection is equipped as standard with Parker closed loop meter out proportional valve, which has the same technical characteristics and response time as a servo valve. To understand this injection system, we need to look at the animation shown here. The injection is powered by a large capacity accumulator, which is used to supply the entire stroke of the injection cylinder and the intensification. The accumulator is first charged to 160 bar of hydraulic pressure using the main machine pumps. This energy is stored using nitrogen as a gas spring, enabling the injection to read speeds of up to 10 meters per second. 8.5 meters per second as standard. Traditional machines use the main pump to power the first phase at low speed. However, with the new OLS design, we have the ability to program up to 10 steps for the injection velocity stage at speed ranges of 0.02 meters per second to 8.5 meters per second using the same hydraulic configuration. This greatly simplifies the design of the injection system, eliminating many valves and giving a much more reliable system. The Parker TDP servo valve has a very rapid response time of 13 milliseconds, giving Idra the possibility of real-time closed-loop injection, whilst maintaining a very robust system. Unlike our competitors, Idra is able to achieve this with 160 bar of hydraulic pressure, which is critical for the life of the valve and requires filtration of only 10 microns, compared to other servo valves that require 4 micron filtration. For the die casting environment, this is a great advantage. Under these conditions, we are able to give a very good life of the valve without the need for regular service exchange. The average service life of the valve exceeds the competition and IDRA has been very successful in delivering good performance for all of the most demanding castings with very low maintenance costs. The fact that the valve is controlling the flow out of the injection cylinder gives us the ability to accelerate and decelerate, thus giving production the freedom to design any curve profile they wish with up to 10 separate speeds, including braking at the end of stroke. As you may note, the injection no longer has the traditional proportional valve for second phase, and this is now replaced with a simplified open-close cartridge, or on-off valve. At the start of injection, the cylinder is held back by the counter pressure at the front of the cylinder, and the on-off valve is open to connect the accumulator with the piston side of the injection cylinder. At the start of injection, the TDP valve is gradually opened to allow a slow start to the injection. This is normally a stroke of around 5 mm that will stop the injection piston from jumping and creating turbulence in the injection sleeve and liquid metal. After this initial movement, the piston then moves forward about 100 mm to cover the pouring hole in the sleeve and prepare for the start of what we would traditionally call the first phase of injection. The first phase of injection is used to eliminate the gas from the sleeve and prepare the liquid metal for injection into the die cavity. This is a slow movement with a typical velocity of around 0.5 meters per second. It is critical during this phase that we do not create turbulence in the sleeve which can trap gases in the metal leading eventually to porosity in the casting. After the metal has reached the gate of the die's runner system we accelerate the piston to fill the cavity of the die. The nitrogen in the accumulator has the energy stored from the machine pumps and we can release this in a controlled way to give a high speed injection to give short fill times often required in high pressure die casting. This is traditionally called the second phase. However, with modern injection characteristics, this is now the fourth velocity stage out of a possible 10. Typically, this phase of the injection process requires 4.5 or 5 meters per second in order to fill the die before the metal starts to freeze inside the die, causing cold shuts or lamination. The Idra OLS injection system has a very good dynamic force and repeatability, which is the trademark of our long experience and strength within the high pressure die casting market. The closed loop real time injection will also allow us to control the set speed and adjust in real time 
as required to ensure that the injection velocity set by the process engineer is achieved and remains constant. At the end of the filling of the die, it is also possible to break and reduce the impact pressure experienced within the die. This helps to eliminate flash and gives the production engineer the chance to fill the die with higher speeds than traditional injection systems. This is essential in the application of large dimension, thin-walled structural castings, but can also be equally important for large volumes of material such as engine blocks. The breaking phase will normally be applied just before the metal arrives at the point of impact for the injection piston and simultaneously the start of the intensification phase can begin. The Hydra OLS injection system has a separate piston for intensification, giving the possibility for much better response, accuracy and repeatability of injection pressure. The intensification cylinder in the Hydra machine is controlled using both the second phase and the bi-constant back pressure accumulator. This is quite different from other manufacturers and gives a very reliable and repeatable system, which is one of the best in the market. The movement of the intensification piston must be controlled in two ways. First, the stroke of the piston regulates the final pressure applied to the metal inside the cavity of the die. This is dependent on the projected area of the casting and the desired results required. Typically, pressure tested castings may require up to 900 bar of applied pressure to ensure that there are no leaks from the component. Second, it is essential to control the speed at which the intensification piston moves. This is the big advantage of using the second phase accumulator and allows Hydra to have a very good response of rise time, which can be as low as 15 milliseconds. This is achieved by using a high speed proportional flow control valve, which we would traditionally call the third phase valve. In the case of machines at 2,700 tons and above, Hydra uses the same Parker TDP valve as used for the control of the injection piston. This gives us the rapid response that we need for the most demanding of parts. As the intensification piston starts to move, the large check valve mounted under the second phase on off valve is closed by the spring and back pressure from the injection cylinder. Hydraulically speaking, pressure is a result of resistance to movement. Therefore, the pressure will start to rise as the injection piston slows down to impact at the end of dive fill. The fact that the intensification piston is already moving at the end of stroke assists the final filling of the die by increasing the dynamic force applied to the metal. Once the injection piston has finally stopped moving, the intensification piston will continue to move forward, boosting the pressure in the injection cylinder to the desired value. Hydra can also offer the possibility of closed loop intensification, which will, in real time, control the movement and pressure of the intensification system. In order to control the final pressure applied, we use the bi constant back pressure accumulator. The oil from the front of the intensification cylinder is pushed into the bi-constant accumulator until the forces are equalized and the intensification piston stops moving. The process engineer can regulate this movement by controlling the bi-constant charge pressure before injection. The greater the pre-charge pressure, the smaller the movement of the intensification piston will be and therefore a small amount of pressure will be applied. The intensification cylinder can typically produce between 160 and 400 bar of pressure onto the injection piston. Therefore, if we pre-charge the bi-constant accumulator with 160 bar max, the result will be minimum intensification. Conversely, if the bi-constant is charged at 20 bar minimum, the machine will produce the maximum intensification pressure. The third phase proportional flow control valve controls the rate of intensification or rise time of the intensification phase. By adjusting the percentage opening of this valve, the process engineer can regulate the ramp of the curve. Typically, thin walled castings require a more rapid response compared to heavier section components. The Hydra OLS injection system has proved itself ideally suited to structural components, 
and many of our customers are now upgrading their existing Edra machines with this high performance system.